Hey y'all, it's attorney Bianca Jordan, immigration lawyer at Brazen Legal, where I help my clients get legal status, usually green cards, without leaving the United States. If you'd like to work with us on your immigration case, you can call my office at 508-942-7497 to book a consultation, or you can go to brazenlegal.com contact to book a consultation with us 24 seven. Today's video is about tricky green card questions. The green card application, as you know, has gotten longer and longer by the year. I think right now it's about 20 pages long. And towards the end of this application, there are a series of yes and no questions that you have to answer. And I find in my experience, the two questions that tend to trip people up the most are the question that asks you, have you ever violated the terms of your non-immigrant visa status? And have you ever worked in the United States without authorization? So I'll tackle the first one first. Have you ever violated the terms of your non-immigrant visa status? A non-immigrant visa is a temporary visa. It's basically a visa given to you to come to the United States on a temporary basis. For example, coming here as a visitor on a tourist visa, a B1, B2, for example, or coming to the United States on a fiance visa or coming to the United States on a student visa. And so that question is asking, have you ever violated the terms of that visa? For most non-immigrant visas, you're not allowed to do things such as stay longer than you're supposed to, and you're not allowed to work, again, depending on the non-immigrant visa. For example, for the visitor's visa application, when you come here to the United States, you're not allowed to work on that visa. So if you were to have worked while you came to the U.S. on a visitor's visa, then yes, you would have violated the terms of that visa. Similarly, certain student visas don't allow you to work. And if you were to get a job on that visa, then you would have violated the terms of that visa as well. If your visitor's visa said that you were supposed to leave January 1st, 2021, and you're still in the United States, then you have violated the terms of that visa as well. Next is a question about unauthorized work. Unauthorized work basically means that you are working in the United States illegally, meaning that you don't have proper authorization, such as a green card or a work visa. So for example, if you come to the United States on a visitor's visa and you get a job working under the table, that is violating the terms of your non-immigrant visa, and it's also working in the United States unauthorized. So these two questions are on the green card application, and they trip a lot of people up because a lot of people, understandably, might have done one or both of these things. However, depending on how you're getting your green card, a yes answer to either or both of these questions could keep you from getting a green card. For example, as I mentioned, these are violations of immigration law. If you violate the terms of your non-immigrant visa or if you happen to work unauthorized. So if you are getting a green card through a U.S. citizen, these don't apply because under the Immigration Act, so if you are trying to get a green card in the U.S., meaning you are adjusting your status, the applicable law is INA 245A. And under this law, you actually get an exception. If you are an immediate relative, the piece about working unauthorized and overstaying your visa actually don't apply to you if you are getting a green card through an immediate relative. And for immigration purposes, you are an immediate relative if you are the spouse of a U.S. citizen, the parent of a U.S. citizen who is over the age of 21, or the child of a U.S. citizen if you are under the age of 21 and unmarried. So if that is you and you are applying for a green card in the U.S. and you have worked unauthorized or you have overstayed your visa, then that does not apply to you. You can answer yes to that question without any negative consequences generally. However, if you are getting a green card through a lawful permanent resident, someone who has a lawful permanent resident cards, AKA a green card. That is a problem that will make you inadmissible. So you definitely want to be sure that you're working with an immigration attorney 
when you're filling out these forms because it's not just data entry. It's not just checking off a box. The boxes you check or the boxes you don't check have very real consequences. So you really need to understand the law behind each question so that you don't get yourself into trouble. I hope you found this video helpful. Please visit brazenlegal.com to learn more about me and my law firm and how we can help you get a green card. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. And also be sure to follow me on Instagram at brazenlawyer, where I share some behind the scenes of my life when I'm not busy lawyering and getting green cards for my clients. Thanks for watching.